I've heard an awful lot of statistics that may make you fearful. Please don't be fearful. They look like an indomitable religion. Yes, on face value, they are big, they're growing. No one doubts that. But they have a weak foundation. They have a Quran that was just made by men, written by men. They have a theology that took about 200 years to perfect. They have a prophet whose history took 150 to 180 years to write down. They don't know Jesus Christ. They know him as Issa, nothing more than a messenger. They don't know him as Lord. Who's going to go to them? Who's going to tell them that? You are. You're the only ones that can tell them that. You're the only ones who have the gospel of Jesus Christ. You're the only ones who have been told this. You're the only ones that, and as you're finding out, you're the only ones that can do it because the government cannot do it. Don't wait for them. The media cannot do it. Don't wait for them. This is our remit. This is the church's responsibility. We're the only ones because we understand how powerful Scripture is. We're the only ones because we're the only ones that really know who Jesus Christ is. But you're going to get, have to get beyond that fear value. You're going to have to get beyond, and you're going to have to take the commissioning that Christ gave to the 12. Open up to Matthew 10, and let's end with this. In Matthew 10, Christ commissioned the 12. And take a look and see what he said. Matthew 10 starts with verse 16. Let me start with verse 16. He says, I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Now, I'm not going to read all the rest. Just read it for yourself when you get home tonight. But just take a look and see what Jesus then says to the 12. In verse 17, they're going to flog you. In verse 19, they're going to arrest you. In verse 21, they're going to betray you. They're going to put you to death. In verse 22, they're going to hate you. In verse 23, they're going to persecute you. Hate you, persecute you, arrest you, flog you, put you to death. That's quite a commissioning, isn't it? Were you commissioned like that? How many of you who are pastors, who are missionaries, were commissioned like that? And yet that's exactly what Jesus was asking the 12 to do. Every one of the disciples was hated, were they not? Every one of the disciples was persecuted, were they not? Most of them were put in jail. Some of them were flogged. Every one of the disciples was killed, except for John. This was their commissioning. That is our commissioning. We're going to be hated. The gospel, by definition, is confrontational. You can't get away from it. Anytime you say that God can become a man, that's going to confront a Muslim. Anytime you say that God is put on the cross, that's going to confront a Muslim. You cannot get around of it, and unless we're saying that, we're not preaching the gospel. Are you willing to be hated for that? Are you willing to be persecuted? We get vilified every Sunday. When I go on university campus, and I go to lots of university campuses, immediately the radicals come and sit right at the front row. I love it when they do. I know they're going to jump up and they're going to yell things at me. I didn't need a bodyguard. I'm used to that. Folks, expect to be hated. And if you aren't hated, maybe you're not preaching the gospel. Expect to be persecuted. And some of you are going to have to go to jail. Some of you are going to have to be flogged. And yes, some of us are going to have to be killed. That is their commissioning. That is our commissioning. Are you willing to be commissioned like that? See, we've got the material, folks. We've got the best material. When it comes to the Bible versus the Quran, we win. When it comes to women's issues, we win. When it comes to almost every other issue, when it comes to peace versus violence, if you want peace, there's only one place for it, and that's Jesus Christ. We win. Everybody wants it. We've got it. And when it comes back to Allah versus Yahweh, we win. We've got the material. We just need the people. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for today. I want to thank you for this great conference. I want to thank you for this great church. I see many people here who need not only to know the gospel, but they need to take it out beyond this confines of this church, out into the streets, there into their work, where the Muslims are, in the schools, on the streets, yes, but Lord, even in their neighborhoods. 
Lord, I want you to commission these people right here to do just that, to take that which they know, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to not just proclaim it to their friends, but to those who oppose them. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Lord, may we all have beautiful feet. Amen.